The Digital Sociology program is a first of its kind in the nation. We are kind of challenging the role of sociology, we're challenging methods, we're challenging um, the way we do research, and we're challenging the online um, space. For the first time in human history, we actually probably have too much information. That necessitates us learning a different set of skills. So the skills we develop for learning about the world and figuring out our big problems um, in perhaps the 20th century are different now. I think that digital sociology is obviously really important, really relevant to the things that we do in our world every day to day. We all interact in online spaces all the time and those interactions shape the things that we experience in the real world too. So it's not that the online world is separate from the rest of our lives, it's integrated into our everyday life. We have people studying a lot of different things. We have people studying like gift the exchange economy and what it means, you know, in like free cycle type communities yeah. to, to exchange gifts. We have people studying white supremacy. We have people studying religion and what role that plays in sort of digital spaces. We have people studying social capital on Twitter and how black women can build social capital on Twitter. So there's, for me, it seemed obvious that digital sociology would apply to my work as an academic technologist. I thought it was really cool how they were integrating technology with like this old study of people and behavior. So I think that's what really drew me in, especially since I can like study something that I love, like Twitter, that's just, best of both worlds. I've had people who are interested in studying the effects of, for example, online bullying and what that does to youth. I've had students who are interested in studying how colleges and universities adopt particular technologies for teaching and for communicating and the impacts that that can have on different types of social inequalities, how those things reproduce inequalities that exist in the you know, physical world and those are reproduced in digital spaces as well. How do you parse the difference between the information that people want to deliver to you and the information that you need to go out and find yourself? And that ideally what some of my colleagues call a media diet will have both. It's like having a plate that's only full of mashed potatoes, right? Which I'm not exactly opposed to, but any nutritionist would tell you that's not a good diet, right? Um, so I'll tell my students, social media information is great, but if that's the only media in your media diet, you're gonna have a very narrow focus and perspective on the world. I think the value add is that we are using the tools that we are studying. So it's an online program that uses the online environment as data and your learning environment is online and your presentation of yourself as a sociologist is online and we're really thinking about sociology um, as a public forward-facing field. One of the things I'm taking part in right now is a working group. That is a very diverse group in terms of our interests in sociology and our research experiences. That is teaching me so much just by understanding the different perspectives people bring to things. I think what makes it special is that it's one of a kind. It's the only sociology program that focuses on digital spaces. Um, I think that's really unique. Digital sociology also allows us additional options for exploring diversity that we might not be able to access um, in physical spaces. So for example, I study anti-LGBTQ hate crimes and Accessing victims of those hate crimes is really difficult. People don't want to talk about it. People don't want to identify themselves as victims. They don't come forward, they don't report. But people often seek help in digital spaces. And so being able to reach diverse populations through these kind of innovative technologies, I think is something that is value added for the digital sociology program. It's really special to me to be able to learn with students who are at really different stages, both in their life and in their career. We have some folks who are just out of undergraduate who have a background in sociology. I am one of the older folks in the program. I'm, you know, more than a decade out. But to have that just that breadth of experience, that breadth of interest, both personal interest, research interest, makes the program that much richer.